Hi everyone, this is Phil from It Gaming, and today I'm going to show you my guide to the Ice Titan in Arc Extinction. The Ice Titan is one of the giant, tameable bosses that's available in Arc Extinction. It's very hard to fight, very hard to tame, and relatively hard to summon. In order to summon it, what you're first going to do is go to this cave that is located at the edge of the Snow Dome. You can see it on the map here. It's located at 20.4 latitude by 61.2 longitude. The cave is chock full of nasty things like yetis, polar bears, dire wolves, and perlovia. The most dangerous, of course, being the perlovia because they can knock you off your mount. The cave doesn't allow any sort of flying, but if you have a mana armor, you can hop around, which means you can circumvent some of the bad things you find in here. Eventually, you'll find your way to the Titan Terminal at the back of the cave. This one is located at 6.7 latitude by 85.8 longitude. In order to summon the Titan, you're going to need to put a few things into the terminal, and those include one Artifact of the Void, 100 Corrupt Hearts, 10 Spinosaurus Sails, and 10 Therizino Claws. You're probably wondering where to find the artifact. Well, if you can see the terminal, you can pretty much see where the artifact is. It's just behind this pillar over here, so you just zip over a little bit, and you'll see it's got a purple glow. There we are. And that is the Artifact of the Void. So all we need to do is collect it, and we can put it into the terminal. Once you've placed everything into the terminal, simply click on the engram to summon the Ice Titan. In doing so, a force field will begin to form around you, and it will teleport you and anything else standing on the platform not to a boss arena, but to the open world. One of the main advantages to fighting the Titan in the open world is that you don't have to bring everything that you want to use to fight it, into the cave with you. You can leave it outside and just hop into it once the Titan spawns in. The Titan has a whopping 350,000 health and some very dangerous attacks, but the most dangerous by far is the Ice Breath attack you saw right there, which absolutely can lock you down and kill you if you're not careful. If your goal is to tame the Ice Titan, you'll want to focus your attacks on this corrupted node located on the right angle of the Ice Titan. The way I found easiest to do this was to use a mech and to strafe left around the Titan, and as it tries to attack you, it will stop rotating, allowing you a free shot at the ankle. Doing this enough times will result in that corrupted node being destroyed, and a new corrupted node will form now on the right shoulder. This method doesn't change at all. You continue to strafe left around the Titan and shooting at the node, though this node is a little harder to hit due to the fact that there are horns and other things around it. It's really important to remember that any damage you do to the Titan will carry over to the Tame. If you shoot it enough, that Corrupted Node will also go down, and a third one will appear on the chest. Now the tactic changes a little bit, because you can't really rotate it around because it's in the center of the chest. So you're going to want to try to keep your distance and back up to avoid its ground pound attack, and most importantly, avoiding its breath attack, which will freeze your mech and can even knock you right out of it. After enough shots, it will eventually go down, and all you have to do at this point is hop out of your mech, go over to the Titan, and you will see what everybody wants to see, Tame Kaiju. Just press E, and you have tamed yourself your very own Ice Titan. Any tamed Ice Titan automatically comes equipped with a giant platform saddle that you can build on and build yourself a little mobile base, which is a lot of fun. Any damage that you've done to the Ice Titan will carry over, so try to only shoot the corrupted nodes if your intent is to tame it, and you will also notice that the Ice Titan has a remarkable carry capacity. The left click attack of the Titan is one of three different ground pounds, either a single or double fist pound attack. The right click attack is a shot snowball attack, which does a fair amount of damage, but it is weirdly slow. By pressing spacebar, you will jump a remarkable distance. It doesn't seem like much, but you do have to remember this thing is absolutely enormous, but it does use quite a bit of stamina. Finally, the last attack, if you press C, you will do a breath attack, which freezes and damages anything in front of the Titan. If you decide to kill the Ice Titan instead of taming it, you will unlock the Tech Helmet, the Tech Chest Piece, the Tech Rifle, and the Tech Replicator. It's important to note that you won't get these rewards if you kill a tamed Ice Titan. It has to be wild. You will also unlock the dossier for the Ice Titan, and you will receive some high-level armor and weapons. You will receive ammunition, and you will also receive some engrams for other pieces of tech equipment. 
You can harvest the corpse of an Ice Titan using either a pickaxe or a hatchet, and you will receive meat, prime meat, pelts, hides, and corrupted nodules. You can, of course, also use a taxidermy tool to get a dermis from the Ice Titan, which you can then place onto a taxidermy stand to show off your trophy kill. If you know any tips about the Ice Titan, tell us in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please, please be free to leave a like and a comment. Also, subscribe to the channel, and as always, have fun out there.